Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the fix for your arcade one-up cabinet, gaming cabinet. Now what's happening here is I actually, once I turn it on, it will just blink like a blue screen. Yours might get that, yours might not. And then eventually if you start tapping around buttons, you'll hear some sort of music or startup menu, but there will be nothing on the screen. It will just be black. After doing some research, it's gonna be a bad PCB board. And that's the main board, I call it the main board, but it's in the back of the cabinet. Pretty simple to get to. Now you can purchase them on the website. I will have that linked in the description box below or eBay eBay, there are sellers that are upselling them a little bit, especially if the website is sold out. But once you're on the website, there was actually a California warehouse that actually sent it out. I got mine within like a week of ordering it. Some people are reporting having to wait a month. It just depends on their inventory and how close they are to you. So if you wanna pay a little bit more of a premium fee, there are sellers on eBay as well. Now, if you are the original owner and it is under warranty still, then get a hold of them, open up a ticket on their website stating that they're going to make you prove that you did purchase it. So if you still have your receipt or proof of purchase, they'll be able to send you a new one for free. I unfortunately am the second owner of this, so it does not apply to me. So I had to purchase one through their website. But if you are the original owner, again, get a hold of them. Let's go around to the back of the cabinet and let me show you the access points. So we have the back of the cabinet off very simple there are just some screws there at the top portion of the cabinet just watch your power cord though that is also connected right here by a plug you can unplug that if you want and ignore this I just went a couple extra steps I actually have to put that back in I was looking at the screen but this board here will be mounted up here there are two screws right here and then the cords just cord management in but what you want to do is you want to flip it around to this right here this is the bad PCB board. We're going to have to remove this pin right up here. We're going to have to remove that white one right there. And we're going to have to also remove that screw. And we're also going to have to just ease up on this right here. And then this obviously just unplugs from the power cord right there. And these are pretty easy to get up. You're just going to inch them up. Just don't yank at them, but go ahead and just pull them up. This one, as you can see there, the little lip of that. Go ahead and pull that cord up. Unscrew this black one here. And this black one in the back should just ease up and pry up as well. Just don't yank. You don't want to loosen any of those cords there. But just pinch it with your fingers and pull that up. Now with the old one out, we did of course remove that little screw up there as well. Now you have one more screw, two more screws, and three more screws down here in the corner. That will release the board from the metal housing here. And then you want to grab your new one and put it all back together the exact same way ribbon cables the black wire up there in the top left corner again now when you put everything back together there is my screw attached up top make sure your red wires over here on the left side your blues on the right side your black wire pin is on the left side there and this one you're going to have the red edge it's the only way it slips in with that little notch right there so that is all set what we're gonna do now is screw this whole casing back in, plug in our power plug here, just like this here. Two screws go on either side right here. Now let's go ahead and put the back of the cabinet back on, fire it up, and let's fire it up. On button there. Nice. Absolutely awesome. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully it has helped you get your cabinet back up and running. Again, this is Street Fighter, but this works with every single cabinet. It's the PCB board issue. Some of you guys might not even experience sound. Some of you guys might experience it turning on and then turning off with sound staying on. Some of you guys might fire it up and there just be a blue spark or nothing at all. Maybe no sound. Give this a shot. You'll be back up and running. And believe it or not, I actually actually found this in a wealthy neighborhood right here. No joke. And obviously they got rid of it and put it out next to the dumpster because of this issue. I took it home and I was like, sweet, awesome. And then found out that obviously there was an issue with it. That's why they obviously got rid of it. But for literally, I think I paid about maybe 
$42 out the door, free shipping after some little bit of tax on the board. I have my cabinet back up and running, or I should say somebody else's cabinet back up and running that I received for free. If you guys want to see those videos and actually seeing me find this, that channel will always be linked in the description box below. And with that said, also I want to insert in the top link in the description box below my course for my other channel where I find inventory and how to resell it will be in the top link of the description box below. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. I will see you guys on the next video. My name is Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.